the Weta workshop up to at Te Papa? We've tried to do something very different, something that uh, I don't think would have ever been seen in a military exhibition anywhere in the world before. Yeah, we'll be speaking to the brilliant Sir Richard Taylor about what he's calling Weta's most important work to date. The movie makers, movie making masters in fact at Weta Workshop are working on a project they say is their most important project to date. Yeah, Gallipoli Centenary Commemoration is of course just one month away. So the team's working on a very special exhibition at Te Papa in Wellington. And I caught up with the man in charge, the brilliant Sir Richard Taylor, and asked him why he felt this battle was so significant. Gallipoli was an extraordinary loss, uh, an incredible, um, to some level, a, 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 you know, a, a tragedy for our country and for many of the countries that served there, including uh, the, the, the people of the Ottoman Empire. They, they were protecting their own lands. We were, the, uh, we, we were the people that were trying to take it from them. And uh, due to some very sad and rash decisions, uh, a great deal was lost. And to me, it's, uh, there's very little but tragedy in the, uh, the Gallipoli story. There's great moments of heroism and, uh, and incredible um, stories of humanity, but uh, at the very heart of it, there's a great deal of tragedy. And uh, I see that that is the legacy that's left from Gallipoli. But it shouldn't in any way diminish how important the people that were there uh, doing the task that was commanded of them. Uh, and, and in turn, I hope that we um, acknowledge their importance and uh, bring that to bear through this exhibition. There's a lot about this exhibition we can't divulge at this stage, but it sounds as though it's very focused on the individuals involved. It is. What we've done is we, we've selected eight individuals. I, I felt strongly that it was very hard to tell the story of this war in an intimate and moving way through a whole army. So we've selected eight individuals and those individuals have been selected firstly because of the diaries that they wrote, how they speak to us from the past through their written word, then by their ranking, so we've tried to get a very good cross section of their ranking and then their provincial place throughout New Zealand. So we've got a good spread across the country. Those three things were juggled for a number of months till we filtered out the eight people that we've focused on. Where does this sit in the importance of the many projects you've ever been involved in? This ranks as probably one of the most important things we've ever done. I, you know, we've had the great fortune of working on some legacy projects, the likes of Lord of the Rings and, and things like Avatar and, uh, you know, arguably King Kong or uh, even the Thunderbirds that we're making at the moment. These are important projects to us and we've given them our all. But this project, this is representing a moment in New Zealand history. It is, uh, it's, it's bringing a deep respect to the people that served and it hopefully will, will share with New Zealanders a, uh, a very, very special story. And we therefore have wanted to handle that with um, thoughtfulness, respect, care, and, and uh, a great deal of passion. And hopefully that's what will be seen here. And you say, not, not just because this is your creation, but this is a must-see for all Kiwis? It will be interesting to see how people react to it. We've tried to do something very different, something that uh, I don't think would have ever been seen in a military exhibition anywhere in the world before. We're not trying to endorse or celebrate in war. We're trying to acknowledge the realities, the factual accounts, but also we're trying to uh, find the emotion within the war, what this meant to the people in the time and what it meant to the individual and how those stories are critical to bring forward to today so that we learn from them, we engage with them, we, we understand these people better and uh, hopefully uh, come to appreciate their actions and uh, the, 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 the moment in history that little bit more. Well, this incredible exhibition gets underway in just under a month, uh, and uh, it's going to be on for four years. Each week in the lead-up to the, to the exhibition opening, Te Papa's releasing a series of making of videos. Here's a sneak peek at episode one.
Gallipoli is important for New Zealand because I think uh, if you look back, this is the first time that we put a large body of people into a war zone and it was going to be a horribly tragic and expensive war. To me, I think the centenary, well, it's really important that we take this opportunity to unpeel some of those myths that have accumulated around those eight months. We are quite interested in that individual and human experience and really seeing it through an emotional lens as well and through the words that these individuals wrote, how they recorded, how they reflected their experiences. <laughs>